All right, guys, today we're going to start a series. We're building this core box, which is for uh, the Atlas. Uh, get my parts all oriented here, right? This is for the Atlas 10F. So this is a brand new compound slide castings we're going to be making. Uh, if anybody has ever looked at very many used lathes, uh, the compound slide is always getting tore up. And on these ones here, you know, they're getting to be about 60 years old. So there's been probably a lot of mistakes happening over the years. Anyway, let's get in the shop and let's build this thing. All right, everybody, welcome back to the old iron shop. All right, guys, so like I said, I kind of get ahead of myself a little bit here. Um, I bought a, uh, this is an inch and an eighth coving bit. Uh, core box bit would, uh, would be round all the way across. This one has a ball bearing, so that's kind of the difference there. And what I did, I made up this piece here and I made this all as one piece and then I cut it in half right so that gives me two very well matched halves right so that is going to create the core that goes right here and that'll reach back into uh, just about here and then I've got this uh, rectangular section here at this end and I did that just with a, a straight routing bit same method Build it like this, over length, you know, and I cut it down to where it's uh, about the right length here. You can see this is actually longer still than the pattern. What we need to do, I wish I had had stuff that was a little bit deeper than that, that's very narrow. I want for more there. You can see it keeps wanting to collapse in. Okay, and I don't know if you can see, but where the rec rectangle part comes into that, that big rounded channel, uh, there's kind of a little bit of a square corner there. Uh, that's on both sides. We'll have to uh, probably carve that just with a knife, I think, to round it up a little bit, a little sanding. And then uh, this little corner right here, this will have to get rounded over just a little bit. You don't want really sharp square corners, not so much for the core's benefit, because uh, you can produce really square shapes on a core. It won't care at all. Uh, but later, the metal that is going to be cast against that it's, could cause problems there. You can get a, it's called a hot tear. Like it'll freeze off really fast right there, and it can actually freeze so fast it'll cause a defect in the metal. One of the other things that we're going to have to produce in here, okay, where that square face at the very bottom of the channel, where that lands up against this thing, that needs to have a fillet put into there uh, for the same reason. Uh, it'll also make it a little bit easier to get this out of the out of the core box. I want to know exactly where all that stuff is. Problem I've got here, I've got two different shapes, right? This, this is a good way of getting sort of a, a box that's got more than one profile going on inside of it. You know, we've got a channel and then a rectangle. Uh, if it was just a round, rounded one, you know, it's very easy, easy to make a half, half a core box like this. In fact, wouldn't need to be split the way this is. You can mold it up, uh, set your thing however you're doing. I think we're going to be using sodium silicate. Uh, you just gas that with CO2 uh, and then just turn it over and tap on it a little bit and it should drop right out if things are working the way they should. But what I need to do, I want to make sure that this parting line right here uh, is lined up really well. So what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna take it, this piece here is really good and straight. I checked it with a, with a straight edge, which is like within 1,000th over its whole length. So plenty close enough for what we're doing here. So I'm gonna hold this all together and I'm gonna just trace the line around the profile. And then on this piece, I'll be able to see where everything lines up. All right. You all see that? Now I know where I need to do my rounding over right here, and I need to do a little bit of a chamfering job right there. And there's not very much to do right there. It's mostly just to accommodate the draft that is in this channel. And I don't know if you saw here, but uh, you see the two little lines right there. Uh, those are kind of matching marks. Just so I know which ones go together. And this one has one also and it just has a, a single line, part one, part two, right? 
and the matching marks all go together once the box gets assembled. A little uh, flex cut uh, chip carving knife, but it works great for this kind of stuff. So I'm just going to come in here and, and I'm going to kind of push the knife sort of that direction as I take this cut. So it'll be sort of a slicing cut. And you can see it just makes a beautiful little shave and curl off of there. Fibers. And, uh, I'm going to do it right here also. I'm going to put chamfer from here basically to this back wall of this sort of trudge. Not much of a carver, but I would certainly like to learn. Something I should practice more, I suppose. Yeah, for my spray paint. A guy who would like to make a career out of his hobby. He doesn't seem to have any spare time. I don't know how that works, huh? Alright, so that one's good. So I just got some, uh, I think this is 220 here. 220. Just kind of smooth that up a little bit. Again, you know, sharp corners are not your friends. That's good. I can still even see my, uh, my pencil line there. So that means I haven't taken away any more than what what was necessary. A little bit of open grain in that thing right here. We'll do this side, same thing. All right, that looks pretty good. Now I wish that I had some leather fillets to put in there, but I don't. So uh, I'm probably gonna end up having to use the Durham's water putty for that. I think these little corners here and that little radius there, that's going to go a long way towards uh, making this work real nice. So, let me switch it up and we'll get the putty out, mix up a little bit. Well, you know what, I take that back. Uh, we're going to have to do something first because, you know, this is not very well attached to that. And I want this thing to have, you know, perfect alignment. All right, if you guys are interested in how we got to be in here, please click on the card up here in the corner and it'll show you a video about why we're building this pattern. All right, guys, if you enjoy these kind of videos, you like seeing machines being resurrected, pulled out of the scrap yard, uh, why don't you consider subscribing and uh, maybe even support my Patreon channel. Uh, it'll certainly help pay for all the little supplies and stuff that I need. It doesn't take much, you know, every little bit helps. You guys are out.